Okay, let's go over how to reduce your risk. Um, we've been given three signals on the four hour chart for the pound Aussie, uh, the pound yen, and the pound USD. So we pulled up these three charts. Um, you can see right here on the four hour. Uh, and they do in line here with the daily and the weekly for all three. Uh, this is just the trend report scanner here. So let's get into which one we would actually take out of all three of these. Obviously, if we're risking 1% per trade and we get into all three of these trades, we're now risking 3% uh, of our account equity for basically the same trade. So there's no point on taking all three of these trades. Um, pick the one with the highest probability to the downside. So you'd want to pick the weakest uh, pound pair out of all three. Um, so just by looking at the price action, we can see that the pound yen has a bit of a bigger move to the upside here. And then we've got the pound USD and then the pound Aussie. Uh, obviously the pound Aussie is the weakest. If you're using the currency strength meter, then you can see that uh, the pound yen is at a 3.4, pound USD is at a 1.9, and then we've got a 0.4 um, sell on the pound Aussie. So obviously, to reduce our risk, we're only going to take one of these trades, um, and then we can go look at our daily and weekly here uh, just to see what they're doing as well before we actually put the trend report EA onto it. But um, now we've just reduced our risk. Rather than risking that 3% by getting into all three of these trades, we've reduced it to re only risking 1% of the account equity by just picking the weakest pair out of these three. Okay? So... If we head over to the pound Aussie chart, we can have a look at the weekly. And it started showing the weekly uh, back on this bar, the trend being down on this bar. So now we can hop to the daily. And you can see this pattern right here. I show on the weekly support and resistance videos. Uh, there's four support patterns and four resistance patterns. Let's just put our lines in here. If you wanna see what the other patterns are, you can check out the support and resistance videos. I'll put a link here up at the top. Okay, so there is our lines here. We got a nice green, two blue, and a drop here. So we can head back to the four hour, and you can see we're right up in that area. So I can now put on the trend report EA. And you can see it's showing the weekly trend is down, daily trend is down. And I'm gonna leave the higher high and, and lower low uh, filter on, risking 1%, going for a three to one. I do know that because of where we are right now, it would be a better probability to go for a two to one rather than the three to one. Uh, if I do gotta get a drop on the ne next bar or the bar after even, and we have a, a bearish bar down into around this area, um, then I do know that the two to one is gonna put me down around this area here. So um, I'll stick with the two to one and I'll leave it on. And I hope this video was helpful in helping to reduce and uh, picking a better pair if you're getting multiple signals on the scanner. All right, take it easy.